it's a risk that backfired. The unthinkable on a sunny triple digit afternoon floating the Boise River tonight. The story of shock, pain and determination to rebound. A Treasure Valley man has a very serious injury after a tubing accident on the Boise River. CBS 2's Trevor Fay spoke with 15 year old Quade Shellhaas about his injuries and his road to recovery. Trevor joins us live on the Bay Brook footbridge near the scene of what happened. Trevor. Natalie, it's a parent's worst nightmare come to life. For Quaid and his mother Christine, a trip to the emergency room was the last thing they were expecting after spending Saturday here at the Boise River. I hear a big crack, and everyone immediately just looks up. And as we look up, one adult yells, everyone run! It was a tree, its roots rotting by the riverbank. As Quaid and his friends play on the tree's tire swing, the tree gives way, landing on 10 people, injuring four. And so as, um, as we hear that, everyone takes off in different directions. It was chaos. Police and fire arrive looking to help anyone they can. Quaid has broken bones, a torn ACL, cuts, and bruises. A few others are sent to the hospital as well. I would just like to apologize that I can't believe it happened. But people who frequent the river tell me that tree has been rotting away for years, and it was only a matter of time before it fell. Still, Quaid's experience hasn't stopped him from supporting rivergoers. I think just the word should be spread around. I think, any, I think everyone and everyone should be able to have their fun. It's a risk that I took, and it's a risk that backfired. Quaid is out of the hospital now, recovering at home. As for the other victims of the accident, Quaid asks us to keep them in mind as well. I'm so sorry that we were all stuck in that incredibly unfortunate situation, and my prayers are with you guys. Now, pages for those victims have been set up on GoFundMe and other donation sites. You can check out the links to those pages on our website at IdahoNews.com. In Boise, Trevor Fay. CBS 2 News. There are so many more interesting details to the story. You can see Trevor's entire interview with Quaid. Just go to our website, IdahoNews.com.